What size AWG copper conductor and protection would you select for a 64 amp load using THHW terminating on 75 degree C terminal? So this question is asking for both the conductor and the protection. First we're going to size our overcurrent protection. Go ahead and pause the video now and see if you can figure out what size breaker we're going to use for this case. We head over to 240.6A and we find that our next standard ampere breaker rating is 70 amps. Okay guys, now let's size our copper conductors. Our question holds all the keys to what we need to look for. So I will give you this clue. I want you to go ahead and use your ampacity tab and then I want to see if you can size the wire. Remember that it's copper on 75 degree C terminals. Pause the video now. Okay, so we use 310.15B16. That's our primary opacity table. We look in the 75 degree C column for copper conductors, and we're going to select a 6 gauge, six gauge conductor. It's good for 65 amps. But our overcurrent protection is 70, and our wire is only good for 65 amps. Is this okay? Okay, so up until this point, our wire has met or exceeded our overcurrent protection. Now that we know we can use the next size up standard breaker to cover the load. We have a 64 amp load. They don't make a 64 amp breaker. We go to 240.6A and we select a 70 amp breaker because that's the next standard size. Now, what about the next size up rule to protect the wire? We have 65 amp wire. It covers our 64 amp load, but can you protect it with a 70 amp breaker? Everyone head to your OCPD tab in your code books. Let's take a look at 240.4B. We're going to read it together. It's on page 94 in the top left-hand corner. Pause the video now if you need to. Okay, so when we're on page 94 in the top left-hand corner, overcurrent device is rated 800 amps or less. The next higher standard overcurrent device rating above the impacity of the conductor being protected shall be permitted to be used provided all of the following conditions are met. So we are allowed to do it. We have 65 amp wire. We can protect it with a 70 amp breaker if one through three are met. Number one says conductors being protected are not part of a branch circuit supplying more than one receptacle for cord and plug connected load. So this does not apply for standard branch circuits unless they're only controlling one receptacle. Part two says the ampacity of the conductor does not correspond with the standard breaker. So did they make a 65 amp breaker? No. With that being said, it's saying that as long as, you know, say if you had 65 amp wire and a 70 amp breaker, that does not correspond so you can go ahead and use the next standard one. And part three says the next higher standard rating selection is not exceeding 800 amps. So there are some parameters here. Number one says that the conductors being protected are not a part of a normal branch circuit supplying more than one receptacle. In our case, we have a single load, 64 amps, we're good to go. Part two says the impacity of the conductors does not match a standard breaker. Our wire is good for 65 amps. Do they make a 65 amp breaker? No. And ours is nowhere near 800 amps, so we're good to go. So even if our conductors are less than the breaker as long as it meets sections one through three and it's less than 800 amps and it's large enough to cover the load that's a super critical point you this is how you size anything for a single load single surface whatever first figure out the amp draw in this case it was given to us 64 amps the first thing you do is select the overcurrent device so you're going to go to 240.6a and you're going to select the next standard breaker. In this case, we had a 64 amp load. We select a 70 amp breaker. It's large enough to protect the load. Then you head over to 310.15B16 and you're going to select a wire that is large enough to cover the load. Don't worry about the overcurrent protection. You have to cover the load. In this case, we have a 64 amp load. So we selected a 65 amp wire. So we're good to go there. Our load is covered. Then the question was, can that 70 amp breaker protect our 65 amp wire? And the answer is yes, under these parameters. So we have a six gauge conductor on a 70 amp breaker.